Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Self Start Coding. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can create a tab structure in .NET 6 Blazor server. So let's begin with our tutorial. So here I have opened Visual Studio 2022. Uh, we'll select Blazor server app, click on next and we will name it as Blazor app 1. Click on next and uh, let's uncheck this for local version and we are selecting .NET 6 framework long term support click on next create so this will create a new blank default application for blazor server app so once this is created here we can see that we have this default application <coughs> and in this on this uh, index page let's remove all this and uh, add the code structure and here we will have to add few style to create the tab design so let's begin with that so inside this style we will have four css style first is dot tab uh, with overflow hidden and border and background then we have a tab button with background float left uh, outline cursor padding and transition then we have button hover then we have the tab content with some padding border and border top none so once this is done we will have this div with a class tab and uh, we will have few more div here with a class tab content okay so we have tab and tab content so let's create three divs of tab content so we have a tab and tab content inside this tab we will create button and let's name it as basic info company info then pf information so we have three We have three buttons with three tabs. So let's insert the div inside the coding section. Let's create three variables for tab one, tab two, and tab three. Let's make the other two as false. and let's put these divs inside this if tab 1 let's copy this and paste it here and let's paste it here so we have tab 1 tab 2 tab 3 let's select uh, control kd okay so we have tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 inside this tabs let's put h3 tab 1 and tab 3 so we have the entire structure ready now So let me run it once. So we have this basic tab, company tab and PF tab. 
these three tabs we have but when user click on that that tab should be active so for that and uh, whichever tab is active that should be highlighted okay so let's do the rest of the coding for that so here we will create one method display tab so here we have this method display tab which will take the input parameter as the tab number if the tab number is 1 then tab 1 will be true if the tab number is true then respective tabs will be true so we have three case inside this display tab it's a simple method with the switch case now this method will be called on click of this button so here we have to add a on click method so here I have added this on click display tab 1 so this simple method I have to add for the second and the third button as well I'll just change the parameter as the tab number now we have that structure ready and uh, on click of uh, let me run it and see okay let's click on tab 2 tab 3 now only thing pending is like we have to highlight the active tab so let's add the CSS for that and that CSS needs to be uh, displayed based on the flag so here on the button I'll add a style style if tab 1 is true then the background color should be this or else it should be white okay the color should be white and the background color if it is true we are using this uh, ternary operator here same goes for tab 2 and tab 3 so here I'll simply change the flag value so let's run it once so here you can see this active tab is highlighted if I click on company info pf info tab 2 so this way we have simply created a tab structure using blazor server and that's it for today see you in the next video if you have any query you can simply drop a comment thanks for watching